In the first variables video, we learned how to create a variable, assign it a value, and then use it in a program. Now let's add some complexity. One of the most powerful things that you can do in a programming language is use variables in expressions. For example, var new score, new score equals score plus 100. With this code, we're creating a new variable called new score. But we're not just assigning it a number like we have in the past. To calculate the value of our new variable, the computer must first retrieve the value of the variable score from memory and then add 100 to it. The resulting number is the value of new score. What if we want to create a game where we increase the user's current score by one point every time a coin is acquired? We could do this by updating the value stored inside the variable score based on its current value like this. This line of code can be read as score gets the current value of score plus one. So if the current score is seven and the user acquires a coin, the computer must retrieve the current value of the score, which is seven, add one to it, making eight, and then store the new value back into memory. Similarly, in our game, if the player does something bad, we might want to reduce the number of lives by one. So that code would look like this, lives equals lives minus one, or lives gets lives minus one. This process of updating a variable is called variable reassignment. Understanding how variables are set and updated is a powerful key that unlocks many insights into programming. All good programmers can look at a piece of code and use what they know to trace through it logically. Let's try with an example that's sometimes a little bit tricky to newcomers. Check out this bit of code. In the first two lines, you can see that we have created two new variables, a uh, A and a B, and assigned them both initial values of two. In the next two lines, we've updated their values so that they each get the value of A plus B. At first glance, you might think that A and B are both going to end up the same, but they won't. The key is to recognize that the value of A is being updated on the line just before B is changed. So what's being computed will change as well. Let's trace it out. When A gets A plus B, this will take the current values of A and B and add them together. The result of the equation is stored in the value of A. So as soon as this line of code is run, the value of A has changed to 4. With the next line of code, b gets a plus b, the sum of a plus b is now 6. This new number gets stored in the value of b, so the final outcome of the code looks like this. Variables are an extremely powerful tool in computer programming. By using variables, you can harness the power of your computer's memory to dynamically track important information while your program is running. Now let's get some practice. 